Hello everyone and welcome to this week's Extend Script Quick Tip Tutorial. In this one, we're going to be going over how to get rid of the DS Store file problem that you'll come across if you use a Mac. Now this problem comes up if you're either making a script or an extension and you have a bunch of files which you're trying to load as say presets or previews. So say for example, I have a folder here with a couple of GIF previews and usually on a Mac, it's going to create a type of file called DS underscore store. And this file has no extension and it will actually cause problems if you don't uh, filter for it or get rid of it when running your script or extension. So with this little script we're going to create, we're going to first start with our files. We have our GIF, our DS store file, and our other GIF. And then once we have gone through and done our filter files function, it's going to now just give us the two that are not our DS store. So what we're going to do is simply avoid using the text DS store, or we can say use any file that has a dot in it because the DS store doesn't have an extension. We can assume any file that has an extension is not a DS store file. So I'm going to create a new JavaScript file and all I'm going to do is create a folder object and it's going to be equal to a folder and I'll use the location of this folder here, which is in my documents and test. Now I'm going to create a variable called files and set it equal to my folder dot get files. This is going to give me a list of all of the files located inside of any given folder. So now if I run the script and say alert files, we're going to get our alien twerking gif, our ds store file and our bananas gif. So we have all of our files. Now we need to do is filter them. So I'm going to create a variable called filtered files and set this equal to filter files and I'm going to bring in our files and that may seem a little bit confusing. So what I'm going to do is create it in a second and I'm going to say alert files and then now we need to define our filter files function which is going to take our original files and make sure there's no DS store files when we get them back. So I'm going to say filter files and bring in our files here. And what we're gonna do is just do a for loop here. And we need an array just to contain what are gonna be our new files, everything excluding the DS store file. So what we're gonna do is use var i is equal to zero because files starts at index zero. And for i is less than our files.length, increment i by one. So we're gonna go through each of these files inside of our folder. And the case we're gonna say, we're gonna basically, if something is true, we're going to add it to this array by saying push files i. So we're gonna take our empty array and if a certain case is met, then we want to uh, have that new array. And that array is gonna be representative of our filtered files that we're gonna get back. So essentially, whatever we put in this if statement needs to make sure that it's not a DS store item. Um, I'm gonna end it with a return and return the array just so we don't forget because we need to have a file, or we need to have a variable coming back to this filtered files variable. So the case we're gonna say is if our files i, or the current file we're on, if the name dot index of, and we're gonna check if there is a dot. So if the name of the current file has the index of a dot, the, if it has the index of, essentially it's contained. For example, in this first GIF here, the index of the dot would be starting from the position 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and that 14th place, you can see the dot is right there. So we're going to get 14 back if we have this index of function. So if we could look at the current file and it does have the dot in there, the index is going to be, say, 14. But what we want to say is if it doesn't have the index, of a positive number. So we'll say does not equal negative one. And this is just a quick short way of saying if this text or this name doesn't have this bit of information or text in it, then we're going to do something below. And in this case, we're going to push it. So now if we go ahead and run this, you can see we're just going to get our two GIF files because it goes through all three of these files in our folder. And when it gets to this DS store, which again is a Mac problem that can cause issues, it's going to go through and say, is there a dot in there? Because we need to make sure this has an extension for our previews or whatever we're using it for. If it doesn't, then we want to push it into a new array and return that array with our filtered files. You might be wondering why I'm using a Windows computer um, to illustrate a Mac problem. That's simply because this 
error can persist onto all computers. If you're developing anything on a Mac computer, developing presets or your code, it will create some DS store files. And then when you bring it onto Windows to package it for Windows users or whatever, um, it's then going to have those files on Windows as well. So this is an important thing to take note of, um, looking for hidden files or DS store files from other computers. That's going to do it for this video guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick tip tutorial, if you did make sure to hit the thumbs up button, if you have any questions or comments leave them down below, and of course I hope you enjoyed this video, we'll see you in the next one.